Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the props drilling, right? So now, now here we will try to see about how we can solve this props drilling thing using the provided inject. Here we are sending the message property which is not used by the post component. And in this post component, again we are create and we are sending as the props to the single post. In return, this single post is also not using. And we are sending again as a props to here category. And this category is using. So that means here in the post, here we are sending when we are trying to send the data, it is trying to use it in the nested deep chill component. So this one is called as a props drilling. So in order to overcome this one, what we can do it is so here we can use whatever the data we are trying to provide it to the nested deep chill. So here we can create something like provide, okay, provide. So this should be imported. From the view here provide and provide we need to give the name so first argument is the property name or the key name and the next one is the value whatever the value you are trying to send it can be an object array or anything whatever the thing you want you can send it so here we are sending it provide message and message and now there is no need for us to send this all the data so here in the post dot view there is no need and we can remove this one in the single slot and here also you can remove it these all the things Directly you can remove these all things. There is no nowhere we can use it here. So here also I can remove it. And here last in the category also you can remove these defined props. So now here we are sending it as a <coughs> as a provide thing. So whatever the dependencies you want to provide it, you are providing. And here whatever the components you are having, you can use it here in the post or single post or in the category. Right now we need to use it in the category, right? For that one, what we need to do is so here we need to use the inject. Okay. The first one is a key name and the second one is the value in the provide. And now what we need to do is we need to inject it. So here we are say, sending the, we are taking the message, right? Here I can use constant message is equal to inject. So this should be imported from the view. Inject and the key name, whatever the key name you want to inject it. So here we are trying to get the message that is provided in the, as a here the message value. Okay, so where is this one? The provide message. So here we are injecting. And when we inject this one, we can directly use the message here directly. Now, if you try to see the output, see the same output, we are able to get it. Now, if I try to change the value so that you can able to understand it very easily. And here I am using some, some random text I am using. And if you refresh it, the code here, you will be able to get the same value. This time, instead of using these all the props, drilling, and all those things. So we are using the inject and the provide and the inject. Not only this one, so we can also provide, we can also use this provide and inject in the app level also. So when we are using in the main.js, if you try to see, here we are having this app, right? Here I can use something like app.provide, app.provide. I can use this one, app.provide. And here I can use the main. And here I can use main value from app or something like this. So this is the main. Now here this from this one you can use wherever you want. You can use it in the components. Why? Because this is the root component, right? So here we are using the root component. And now if I go here in the single post, if I try to use it, so I can use it without any problem. You can use it without any problem. Here I am trying to use it. Uh, constant main is equal to inject of main. Inject of main. Of main. And and here if I try to use this one, here I will use this main. Now if we see the output, let's see what will happen. If I refresh this page, we should be able to, okay, inject is not defined. So we need to, we need to import this inject from the view. Yeah. Now if you see the output, let's see. Let's see the output, what will be. So here we are able to get the value, main value from app. So we are able to get it. So we can also, in addition to providing data into a component, we can also provide it in the app level. So it, it, in the app level, if you provide it, these are all available to all the components rendered in the app. This is especially useful when you are trying to write the plugins as plugins typically wouldn't be able to provide values using components. So we understood about the provide and also the injecting. Not only this one, so we can also inject the default values. For example, let's say that in the app level, we are not providing any value. So here in the uh, sorry in the main.js level so here i have removed this main thing but now we are trying to access this main value in the single post so we can also send the default value so 
so now when i try to use it we will be getting a runtime warning so here we are able to see injection main not found so if you are trying to have if you are having this one means you can provide the default value here i can use the default value like this now if you see the output now we are able to get the default value like this also you can use it without any problem so this one also in some cases we can also use this one this one and the last one before closing this reactivity thing i want to uh, explain you one thing so when you are working with the reactive uh, types for example let's say that we are having this post in the app dot view we are sending this uh, message okay this message is a plain text okay whenever you want to send a uh, search text okay this search text is there which is a state variable okay state property that means reactive variable so whenever you want to trying to send this search text it's better for you to send the update function also so it is recommended that if you want to do any mutations for the reactive state you should provide that one in the provide itself whenever possible so this provides us the uh, easier to maintain in the future so that is the main thing for example here you are having the search text here you can have one function update search text whatever the name you want you can give it so here i am updating uh, search text dot value is equal to updated value from parent or anything okay we are updating the search text now whenever you want to send this one so you can send it like constant message is equal to provide of uh, what i can say i want to provide the two things right so here you can say message okay uh, so sorry we, there is no need to use this message thing provide message and we need to send the two values that is nothing but search text first one is search text and the another one is update search text so that's it so we are sending this one in the message so wherever whatever the name you want you can use it and here in the category we are using this one right instead of using like this i can use restructuring search text and also the update search text <clears throat> fine so i can use this search text here directly now if you try to see the output so we will be able to see the same output so like search text that one hello lila web dev now let's say that we are having a button in this one so here i am having a button button update search text update search text when we are using this update search text and here at the rate click is equal to so now you can directly use this update search text so that the parent component will be responsible for this one to update it now if i try to refresh this page Okay, refresh it now i am clicking on this update such text see updated from the parent so this is how we can use it now whenever you want to use this search text value why because this is a ref value that is my state value you want to use it in the javascript variable so what i can what we can do is direct, just directly as a reference value how you are using like this only you need to use why so here i if i try to use the console.log search text dot search text dot value we need to use the dot value as the refer as the ref value how you are using like that only you need to use it and if you see here in the console if you refresh the page so here you will be able to see the hello lila web dev so like this you'll be having this is all about the provide and inject which is available in the view 3 composition api hope you understood about this uh, composition api these all the concept uh, sorry provide and inject thing how we can use it and the app level and also the default values and also the when you are trying to pass the reactive variable how to update that one is all the concepts we have discussed it if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you